what did we get in the mail today? Oh, it's a big box of sperm. That's what this is. This is from Shipley Swine Genetics. I have no idea how sperm is packaged. Oh, what is that? That's a catalog of sperm. Yeah, buddy. Super excited to look at that. What's that? That's an invoice for sperm. And anyone want to see how you package mail, mail thins? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Everyone's excited to see this. What's that? I bet you can guess. That's sperm applicators. Okay, you get a little ice pack, another ice pack. And that's Mad Max in there and his swimmers. Okay. We're going to put Max in, some might call this a wine fridge, but we call it the sperm fridge. And wine. And wine. Super excited. Now we'll go check and see if she's in heat yet. So we came in to check on Lady to see if she's in heat yet. And she's definitely not in standing heat because she's not standing for me, which is what we're hoping to get her to do. So to check for that, you kind of just see if they'll, this is what a boar would do, <laughs> nudge, nudge up against them. I can see down here that she's got a little bit of discharge there. So she's definitely like day one. I'm sure tomorrow we'll find her in standing heat. Okay, so I came back down to check on Lady to see um, if she's in what they call standing heat yet. And I had a thought. So I was thinking that they sent us this catalog so that we could buy even more stuff later. But then I was looking through it and I decided that this is probably, I mean, Randy and I are like this at this point. We've talked on the phone so many times about pig semen. Like, I'm pretty sure I can read between the lines. He sent me this catalog to help get, get her in the mood. So what we're going to do is leave her this catalog out here because it's basically a pig pinup calendar and leave her with her favorite choices. I don't know what floats her boat, but we'll get her in the mood for breeding tomorrow. Not your type? I can find you another one, lady. There's other ones in here. Do you prefer a red pig like you? What about this handsome fella? Hubba hubba. Do you like, is that your type? No, not that one. We have never done this before. This is our first time getting a sow pregnant. And we're like, you know, you can read everything you want and like this. You can watch YouTube videos. But I thought, let's try some unproven methods because why not, you know, stack the cards in our favor. So we're just going to play her some baby making music overnight while we wait her, for her to go into standing heat. And by morning, I bet this girl is ready to go. we're back again <laughs> and um, we found our pig last night in standing heat so it was real dark and it was like nine o'clock at night so we did the first dose and um, now we here we are 12 hours later and we're gonna do the second dose and of course it started raining so here we are so you collect your supplies um, the first thing you're gonna need is some 
uh, lubricant, so it just makes sure it's non-spermicidal for obvious reasons as well. The second one is you're going to need some of this hog spray. Um, we actually didn't have this a few days ago, and we found out that all the R&B music and um, piggy pinups that you have are not going to do the trick. You have to put your pig in the mood with a little smell, smell stuff. So we're going to do that first and see if she's she's ready again. Or if she's still ready, I guess. Hey, Chris. Of course, it's a muddy mess and disgusting right now. So this hole she dug last night, I sprayed it right through the fence here, and I think she the smell was still on the fence, and she went a little crazy. So, oops. I'm just gonna take her out of here and try to try to do it. Come on. So you take your spray, <laughs> and it smells like a four. You can tell she's like, well, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> So, and then you can come over here and see, yep, that did it for her. Okay, so this is a standard um, insemination rod. It's just bent a little bit because of the packaging, but it doesn't make that much better. Um, there's different kinds. I like this kind. It's just a little easier than the screw-in kind. It has a little foam tip. I literally just dumped it, dipped it to like here in the lubricant. Like, don't be shy with your loop, people. So you're gonna kind of aim it up. Oh. That's not funny. So this is a vial that we ordered online. This is Mad Max out of Shipley's Genetics. So you're gonna just kind of do like a pumping motion, kind of stimulate what a boar, boar would be like. And it's best to give them a little sit on like this. So the, then all of a sudden you'll almost feel it just like pulling itself in. So you just getting every last drop in there. And if you kind of let the thing fill with air. Oh, boys. So that way you get every last drop. Oh. Spilling a little is okay. I mean, this has a lot in it. It only has a few billion. Only a few billion sperm in there. So I like to leave it in just a little longer. I don't know. I just feel like I yank a bunch out if I... But she's pushing a little bit out. A little more than I'd like. Hopefully this is working. That is it. So every sow is going to be a little different in the length. She's still not like a huge girl, so it makes sense that it didn't go in super far. So they can lock up like this for like 15 minutes. So, And it's actually the contractions that are caused from the um, release of oxytocin that make them lock up like that. So pretty strong. Now. I think I'm going to try getting her um, for breakfast to see if she wants to go back in for that. Okay, so the final step in the farrowing process, or the getting ready to farrow, knocking up a pig process, is mark down your dates. So make sure you put 
on your calendar about 21 days after you uh, serviced your pig so that you can start checking for the next, um, for her to go into heat. Because there's going to be two times that you're really going to be um, concerned about pregnancy loss. So this first time, like obviously, it just didn't take at all. And then she'll go back into heat um, around the 21 day mark. Sometimes a little sooner, or sometimes a little later, but that's like around there. And then the next time, if she didn't have at least five pigs that she got pregnant, it won't be enough estrogen for her to maintain the pregnancy. So she can lose the pregnancy um, again and go into heat then. So she will just have, have ha got pregnant, missed that cycle, but not enough to maintain the pregnancy. So pigs can have um, what they call miscarriage or a spontaneous abortion all the way up until um, 114 days, no, I'm sorry, 111 days. Um, so right up until just about when they're due, they can uh, miscarry. So you're gonna have to obviously watch for that during your whole, whole time that they're pregnant. But those two times, if you miss two cycles, you're probably in the clear, you're probably doing good. So make sure to mark on your calendar. You can um, go Google farrowing calendar or farrowing date estimator or anything like that. It'll pop right up and it'll tell you exactly if you um, inseminated on this date, this is their due date. So that's super easy to do that. So um, I hope you guys have success and I hope we have success. We will check back in with you and um, hopefully show you a very beautiful litter in 114 days, which is three months, three weeks, and three days from now, uh, yesterday when we did it. So um, thanks for watching and make sure to like our page if you wanna see more videos like this. Thanks.